Hey guys, I'm going to be doing my live reaction to One Piece Chapter 803, three chapters away from the Big 800. Where did it go? Seriously. I'm still, you know, a little... We, we got past Chapter 800 and it's just gone forever. I mean, we can go back and look at it, but you know, the hype or whatever you want to call it, 4800, is gone and it's just weird. But now we got the elephant, Zhao. We got Zhao, and we are going to go check out this island. Climbing the Elephant is the name of the chapter, 803. And our first picture is of Frankie, actually, with an Usopp design, Viking Hercules. And he is racing a shark, and it is pretty awesome. I love his hair. Okay, so next, let's get this going. Let's get started. I'm super excited to be on a new freaking island. Should have done this about, I don't know, maybe six months ago, Oda, maybe. Thank you for everything, but you know, all of my expectations kind of sort of died, so hopefully Zhao is awesome. I'm hoping it is because <sighs> all of my expectations from Dress Rosa just went, <clears throat> except for the Sanji and everybody else getting their new bounties, that was pretty awesome. I don't know about Sanji's face on the bounty, but... Finding out that only alive is pretty cool. Okay, let's see here. Get past all... Why does Koala from the Revolutionary Army wear such skimpy, skimpy skirts? There's no way as she's bending over that's not showing her ass. She's super sexy. I can't get past it, though, because remember when um, Tiger and she was like a little girl, Koala was like the little four-year-old? I couldn't. I can't, even when she's got big boobs, I still see, like, that cute little four-year-old slave of the Tenry Abudo, and I just, like, no. Whoa, okay, everybody's freaking out. They finally arrived, the mystical island of Zhao. Pipe down already, and Zora was pitched. I'll shut up. There it is, the grand ship that carries the Holy Spirit of the Straw Hat crew. How do they not drown? Oh, and by the way, Grammy is not going to help. Grammy, Grammy don't know nothing. The thousand sunny senpai, praise be unto thee, praise be unto thee. Oh my god, it's a huge buggy of worshippers. I'm not even kidding. Buggy the Clown worshippers is the first thing that I think of when I see Bartholomew and his fan. They're fangirls. It is hilarious. Don't worship it. I love you, Fox. I'm relieved. It definitely seems like they've made it here too. Okay, good. Looks like she managed to escape Big Mam's clutches. Big Mam clutches. <laughs> Not much sign of any external damage either. Okay, so if there's literally nothing showing that there was a fight, Sanji must have done something. I mean, he must have done something. I'm not sure what. Okay, so Luffy's calling out to everybody. Brooke, Momo, Nami, Chopper, Sanji. And what was that gas guy's name again? Gas guy. I'm sure, I'm sure I can remember it, but I can't remember it. The ship's empty. Yeah, they're all on the island already. Looks like they all went ashore. All right, everyone, go get them. Watch your bags. And Usopp's like, yep, go for it. Leave me. I'm good. I've got my I need to stay behind or I'll die disease. <laughs> You're coming too, Dukas. I love Zoro. Zoro and Usopp, you know, just back to back. So funny. Senpais, is there any more you may require? Please leave. I'd love to continue to accompany you all and fulfill my dream of seeing the straw hat all stars. But I just can't continue to intrude on the adventures of my gods. Our happiness of borrow meters are already a full throttle. Till the day we meet again. Oh, you poor little fangirl, you gotta go. We of the Bartow Club swear to never bring shame to the banner of the Straw Hat crew. I'm so sorry you already have. And to faithfully and tirelessly serve under it. I hate to tell you this, they're probably gonna die in the next week. How did they make it through the Grand Line to the New World? Seriously. Without a log pose. Without a log pose. It's an enigma because I know Grammy wasn't helping. There was something about gum under the ship and they just need to get it out with the ice. The hell that was freaking raining down on everybody last week. Yeah. 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 That's how... Barto and Barto Club has survived off of a din din mushy with a Grammy on the other end. Have I left anything out? And if our efforts are deemed worthy, I pray that I be allowed to request some of the remaining four signatures of your godly crew. It would be the greatest honor. 
Oh my god, Barto, there's just so much no going on here. Perfectly ignored. Damn straight. A worm no, it's definitely a snake. It has legs, guys. It has to be a lizard. <laughs> they found something on the ship that's way more interesting than Barto and him crying and leaving and stuff. Who cares? We're still on cloud nine. It just rubs right off of them. They're awesome. Come forth, climbing drag. That is the ugliest freaking dragon I've ever seen in my life. Kandro just summoned the ugliest dragon. I oh my god, what is that? I almost want to put that thing out of its misery. <laughs> Look here, bub, an eye for an eye, as they say. Oh my god, so cute. Robin actually thinks it's cute. Robin actually thinks it's cute. Now then grab a hold of this dragon's back. This thing doesn't even fly. Uh, all right, let go. Oh, uh, later. Lomeo, bro, and the rest of you, thanks for bringing us all the way here. Lomeo? What? Wait, was that just now my name? Did he? Congrats, boss. Lomeo? He forgot his name completely, didn't he? Jesus. The, the pleasure was all mine. Thank you. Please take care of yourselves. You guys take care too. See you around. And so one party of our friends make for the peak of the mystical land, Island Zhao, on the back of the scariest freaking dragon ever drawn that Robin adores. That's funny. I love how this morbid woman, she's so morbid, loves this ugly dragon. Oh my god, we get dragon. Grand Line Baldico, Revolutionary Army General Headquarters, Dragon Sun, it seems across the world, rebel armies are emerging victorious in their fight. Okay. Looks like the downfall of the Don Quixote family has definitely had an effect. It's difficult to believe that this many different countries were involved in illicit arms trade. Really? Really? You really thought that? Okay. Okay, Dragon. Seriously? Anyway. The tide of battle is sure to turn. Okay, but make sure to tell them to not lose their cool now. That victory is in sight. The world government will not sit idly by and watch this all unfold. Cypherpoles also gotten much stronger in recent years. Tell them to be mindful. Roger. Okay. Dragon Sun, the weapons we brought back from Dress Rosa contain traces of a special mineral. Okay, this has got to be meteorite ore. The special min mineral's got to be meteorite. That's what I'm thinking. Have you ever heard of the core? Liquor or it's a pun. That's funny. Ha ha ha. Thank you, Oda. Thank you, Oda. Anyway, there's only a few countries that actually mine it, so perhaps we can use this information to get closer to the mastermind behind the manufacture of all these weapons. That's definitely some valuable intel. You brought back our friends that had disappeared on Dress Rosa, too. <laughs> well, Saba Kun and Luffy Kun were there, too, and Let's see. Excellent work recently, I really must say. I love Dragon. I like this. How was Robin? Oh, my God. He's so... This is the first time I've ever seen Dragon actually talk full throttle with anybody. I guess the intel we received about her capture on Shopping turned out to be false. Yep, she's doing great, but are you going to ask about Luffy? Ah, uh, man, I'm full. Our Sabo already told me about Luffy. Okay. Anyway, Koala, do me a favor. Yes, we're going to need their strength. Some of the leaders of all the revolutionary armies. Oh, that face says there's going to be hell raising loose. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay. The revolutionary army is scattered across the globe. Sure, this... Wait, what? Do you really want to gather that lot in one place again? All hell's going to break loose. Is, are they getting ready for this war that everybody's talking about? First, Kaido. See, they, they like to, Oda likes to give a huge amount of premonitions to a war that is soon to come. And he has given so many hints. And I thought the war on Marinford would be the hugest war of this, you know, century. But apparently that's not true. That's not the case. Apparently Kaido's pissed. He's pissed at White Bear for dying and he wants to rock the world. So, and everybody else wants to rock the world too. Layla, are you excited too? She's excited too. New world. What y'all doing? New world, a certain sea. fit speaking. Hold on just a second. I'm going to go grab that dog. Hey, Layla. 
Layla, give me, give me, give me just a moment. Give me just a moment. Layla. There she is. No, no, no. Come here. Come here. Not you. Not you, Dover. You can come next time. But all right, Miss Pris, you're going to stop. You're going to stop that. And we're going to have a bunch of jealous babies. They're all upset now that she's in my lap, but I can't have her barking anymore, can I? It's so annoying, even though she's cute as a button. The fit speaking, black bear. Oh, come on. Drown in the ocean, you jackass. This is the last person I want to see on any freaking panel. Fergus, is that you? We stopped by Dress Rosa, but it appeared as though you'd already left. Yeah, my bad. Boo-hoo, so that bastard's still alive and kicking it. Eh, yeah, unfortunately. Could have been awesome if, uh, you know, he got picked off by Sabo. I was completely passed out, couldn't make contact. So then mind telling us your exact location? Yonko, Blackbeard, Pirate Crew, 5th Ship Captain, Demon Sheriff, Luffet. I hate you. I hate all of you. Now it's all white, kind of like a pure white island. I stowed away on a certain ship. Tell Captain Teach, tell him to bring everyone and attack my current location. We can get our hands on a huge stockpile of weapons here. It's Admiral Teach. How many times must I tell you? Don't forget to drag Doc Q's ass with you. I'm hanging on by a thread over here. God damn it, Burgess. Spit it out. Where the hell are you? I don't know the name of the place. I don't think anyone even knows it's here. Just follow my memory card. All I do know is Dragon and a vile Sabo are both here. <laughs> Burgess ended up on the main revolutionary island and Dragon and Sabo are both there and he's like barely, barely freaking breathing and it's Oh my god, it's Sabo and then Dragon take down Blackbeard right now and just kill one of the Yonkos. I would be so freaking hilariously happy. Oh my god, I found it, boys. The general headquarters of the Revolutionary Army. Oh, fudge. They're going to try to destroy the Revolution. This was the whole, their, one of their main purposes was probably to actually go destroy the Revolutionary Army. Why does Blackbeard keep getting away with shit? New World, Kalios, Bari, Island, Buggy District. Oh, I get to see Buggy. Chairman Buggy, what's up? The phones won't stop ringing. We've got dispatch requests coming out of the wazoo. Let's see here. All because Don Flamingo stopped shipment of his weapons. People are now desperately hiring pirate mercenaries. We've completely cornered the, mar war, the war market. Oh, okay. Wow, he has a brutal... Is this all the guys from Impel Down? Seriously? I see, I see. Listen up, boys. After you had your fill, go cause some havoc and battle. Pillage me a fortune. Oh, my God. Buggy, you got it going on, don't you? No, come here, you sweet thing. You're not going to run away to go bark at something that I don't want you to. Pirate Dispatch Company Buggy's Delivery. Really? All right. Hold on just a second, guys, because there's going to be a lot of barking here in a minute. Three, two, <laughs> Yeah, they get excited over every little thing. All right, I'm, I'm going to let her go now. Uh, she's the one that barks the most, and if she's not actually around to bark, they don't bark as much. Let's see here. Ooh, what is going on with you, Buggy? Your hair looks weird. No matter what pirate evil you bastards get mixed up in, as long as you work for me, Star Clown, Buggy, the Shishu, Bukai, everything's legal. Go nuts. That's hilarious. Oh, Chairman Buggy, we received word from an S-Class mercenary, Haj Rudin. Looks like he's resigning. Well, whatever, we can afford to lose one. We still have four other giants. All five of them are quitting. What? Ha, ah, he's already lost. He's already lost five giants. Those boys are our golden geese. This timing couldn't be worse for crying out loud. What's the reason? You really don't want to know. Still, oh my god, he's joined, he's joined Luffy. They're, they've created their pirate alliance. Okay, seriously, elephant? That thousand-year-old elephant is scary, and the fact that his legs go in the ocean, and the sea kings don't mess with it is amazing. And how is it not dead? Back at Zhao, an island I grew on the back of it, 
giant elephant, one tall enough to reach even the clouds, it reaches the clouds and it reaches the bottom of the ocean easily. My arms are tired. Just how tall is this thing? Oh gosh, don't be like that. This little guy is giving it his best. Robin's still going as cute. She's still going as cute. The strange thing that has Luffy and the others on the back. Scary. The dragon is scary. They still have zero visibility with the peak. I wonder how Sanji and the others got up this thing. Are you sure they're even up there? They might have actually got up there because Sanji can just use his, um, what is it, swift foot or whatever it's called. It'll come back to me. I can't remember. Anyway, it's quick. It's really quick and he's strong, so obviously they can get up there pretty quickly. He's currently climbing this giant elephant's left hind leg. Oh, please tell me it won't fart. If it's that old and if it does, will they just die? Like instantaneously die? Oh, that would suck. Come to think of it, what business do you guys have at that in the first place? Kinemon, Kanjuro. This is good. We finally get to find out about this. Hopefully they tell the truth and, you know, not give us a one around like everybody else. We are indebted in, oh, uh, okay. We are indebted to you all and we will most certainly explain ourselves in due time. Come on. What gives? Why do they always have to give you the runaround for everything? Everything. Literally everything. Please allow us one last concession. Indeed, we left the Wano Kingdom for Zao. This is our original destination. We must confirm Momonosuke's safety, as well as whether or not our last comrade, the ninja Raizo, with whom we were separated at sea, has safely landed here. What? Ninja? Is he really a ninja? What in the... Indeed he is. Something's falling down from above, and Luffy's got stars in his eyes. He wants to see this ninja. Oh, what? What the hell is that? And just like that, they're in a pinch. How big is this? What is it? And is it going to take them out? Okay, so they're going to give us a runaround. Um, they're not going to explain anything until due time, because that's just how they roll. And there's something already flying at Luffy. Blackbeard is going to head to Burgess's location, which is where Dragon is located, the main revolutionary army. The worst case scenario, he's going to gather all of the revolutionary army. And Burgess and Blackbeard and all of them are going to wipe them out. And there's just so many things going on. We still have Weeble, fake, fake Weeble and his mom trying to find Luffy to go after Marco the Phoenix. There's an elephant that they're climbing up the back hind leg, back left hind leg, that could possibly fart, let out a gas, and kill them all instantaneously. Um, let's see here. Sanji somehow got up the elephant quickly, quickly and effectively with a huge group. Chopper and Momo, Momonosuke aren't that bad, and Momonosuke, I believe, can fly. So in actuality, if Momonosuke can fly, Chopper's on his back, and Sanji is carrying everybody else, and Brooke is light as a feather. He could just run up. Uh, so Sanji would just have to carry Nami. I think they did fine on their own without, you know, having to actually carry anybody up. This, they're actually even bringing Frankie for the ride on this ugly cartoon dragon that Robin is in love with. And... I'm still freaking out over Dragon. I finally get to see a full-blown conversation with Dragon. It's only been like 10 years, okay, since Dragon was introduced. 10, okay, I'm sorry, 15. It's almost 16. And you've never had like a full panel where he's just talking, you know, just a normal talk. He did it with Even Cove, but it wasn't, you know, anything I don't know. It was nice to see him reckon, giving recognition to Koala on her good jobs, asking about Robin. It's funny that he ignored Luffy completely, actually. He even said Sabo told him about Luffy, but I'm, I, I'm not sure. I digress. Um, that father-son relationship is a little strained, but that's okay. He's a good dad. I'm sure he is. <clears throat> anyway, um, Garp is a good grandpa. Dragon's not that great of a dad, I guess. He can sit there and raise Koala, but he, and he can raise Sabo. He can save Sabo from the Tenryo Budo, you know, back at home base where Luffy, Ace, and Sabo got together first time. And But he can't take his own kid with him? Okay, whatever. Whatever, Dragon. I mean, I literally was giving so many excuses for this guy until, you know, Sabo. I was like, 
Okay, so there's a third one, and Dragon adopted him and abandoned Luffy. Okay. Okay, I th makes total s No. No, it doesn't. Thank you, Dragon. Anyway, Blackbeard is going to go all out. I'm sure of that, and it's going to suck, and we might get to see some of Dragon's actual for real power. That's what this is all leading up to. We get to see the magic that is Dragon, and I am just, yes! Yes! And freaking I love Usopp's reaction. I want to put the thing out of its misery. All right, guys, tell me how I did. Um, subscribe, let me know, um, comment, I'll reply back. And thanks for watching. See you guys. Bye.